There is something that you have always known and have always wanted to understand, and that is the level of consciousness in which people operate within. There are many different questions that are coming forth into each mind as you are beginning to understand that there is a multidimensionality between what you are and what you feel. The necessity to understand this has never been so more important than now. In this now, in this time period, in this day before the winter solstice, the timing of the great changes are upon us and upon you. You are finding that you are being awakened to the next level of consciousness. It is coming to you quickly like a tidal wave of emotion, of mental awareness and of consciousness of higher consciousness. The focus of all this is about seeing in another way, seeing through the veil and seeing into the heart. By seeing into the heart you see within the center and in this center you find a clarity and quality of consciousness that has a physical state that is fully and powerfully awakened. Often when you reach this state of consciousness, you pull back. You pull back because you are questioning its reality. And you pull back into the illusion. You pull back into the past. You pull back into fear. You pull back away from that which would open you into your higher self or your soul, which is a piece of the source and a piece of the ocean of being. It is time for you to let go and open your mind into the higher realities that are present in every instant of time. Time is the pathway of consciousness as it opens to the enlightened state where you are becoming what you are. It is the current of energy that moves along a pathway. It is this pathway that is made up of light and it carries consciousness through the push and the power of the emotion that becomes the dream, that becomes the ever new, that expands and grows and flows into the ever expanding universe. All that you are comes from sound. It comes from the vibration of the heartbeat of the universe and that heartbeat has harmonics that are infinite in scope and complexity and also texture. It is the texture and the topological field of all the layers of light and the fields of love that this comes into your being and into your waveform. It is this waveform that you are and in this wave you are a potential, a being of light, a beam of soul. You gather to you the material of existence and the textures, the colors, the fragrances, the wonders, the atoms, and you become that which you are in existence in a linear experience of time and space. In all these places and things, you are following a new pathway that allows you to speak to the ancients, to speak to the future selves, to speak to the elementals of the natural world and to speak to the beings within space. In each next step there is always a gap. In this gap you are given the choice and in each choice there is freedom to choose in what direction, in what manner, in what intensity you move from step to step. The larger world of the earth, of the galaxy, of the universe moves in the same stepping forth pattern in that each rhythmic pulsation allows for it to move forward and fully into a higher beingness, into 
higher consciousness and into higher expression in the expansion of space. From this perspective, you are given a great understanding of what you want to know. And what you want to know is here. And it is found in each moment, in each time, in each now, in each age, in each eon, and in each soul expression in spirit, in body, and in life. You are to go upon the pathway and to feel that open space in front of you that is the gap and feel that which is love. It is that which calls you to enjoy the flowering, the blossoming, the experience of being that is life. And in life you are fulfilled. consciousness. The understanding of the light body has been about a personal form that is connected to an ego. This conception is brought about by the third dimensional vision of itself as the center of the universe. It is not the center, it is only that which exists in time and space as a temporary event. The definition of an event is crossing of energy lines of time on the grid of space creating a point of light. Light is created through the interaction of time as consciousness and space as creative potential become intelligence and manifestation. Through understanding compression you are being made aware of the consolidation of time and space into an ever increasing powerful center that is in alignment with the larger energies it is through the increased magnetization that all things are being created within a stream that flows within a much stronger current. You are aware of a time of critical mass, that things are reaching a tipping point, that there is a change coming. You are aware that there is a great deal of darkness in the world and the light is moving quickly into these areas. It is evident that there is a very strong flow of energy and it's said that this flow of energy is the light and darkness is the pull. The push is the desire of consciousness for love or good, God, betterment, fulfillment, comfort and whatever level that is experienced upon in this realm. There are always situations in life where there is contrast. Contrast is necessary for there to be expansion. And so in seeing that which is not wanted, the goal of what is wanted is formed. The ensuing problem is that the focus upon that which is not wanted perpetuates and makes it stronger by the attention to it. The pushing against the stream into the negative reality causes more and more desire for the good and will eventually bring the one in a negative reality into alignment with the stream and the good. Pain is never desired consciously as an end, but it is given some level of acceptability and adjustment to the good. The idea that there is no gain without pain is a primary educational prerequisite in a negative culture as it justifies the use of force to push against the stream of well-being. There is only one stream and it is light. The lack of light or darkness is the refusing of intelligence and not allowing the light to become sentient within its own creative matrix. The children of light are light. It is that which is gifted to the universe just as you are. And so you are given light which is life. 
From the standpoint of higher intelligence as represented by the teachers of light, it does not matter if you accept one vision of your creative potential or another in this timeline. This point of time and space is very crucial in that it allows for the communication with your ascended consciousness. It also allows the playing out of other extremes of lower awareness. In the media, there is nothing that is not available to your awareness, from the lowest to the highest, and it is your choice whether to view, watch, live, or continue the thought streams that are manifesting from all levels.